Hello, welcome to SS Unitex Susil this side and this is continuation of PySpark tutorial. So in this video we are going to see about the pivot and unpivot transformation. So as per the today's agenda, first we will see about the pivot transformation, then we will see about the unpivot transformation. So what is the pivot transformation? So let's assume we are having a input data frame and here we are having one of the column that is a country. So in the pivot transformation, while we are going to apply this, so in the output of the pivot transformation, it will be picking the unique value from that particular country column and will be converting those unique values into the columns. So let's assume if we are having unique values like India, UK, US and Canada. So those four values will be converted into four different columns. So that is the pivot transformation. In the unpivot transformation, it is a reverse of pivot transformation. So it will be going to pick all those four countries from those different columns and will be converting into a single column. So that is the unpivot transformation. So let me quickly go inside the browser and we'll try to see in practical. I am going to create one of the data frame that is DF and it is having total three columns with product, amount and country. So our requirement is we just want to convert all these countries into different columns. So how we can do that? So for this we have to use the pivot transformation. Product will remain same but the amount will be sum of the amount and this country will be going to convert into multiple columns. So for this first we have to use the df dot we have to specify the group by so inside the group by we have to specify those columns which we don't want to touch so in our case we don't want to touch the product column then we have to use the pivot so inside the pivot we have to specify the column which we want to convert into multiple columns so this is the country and the third column we have to use the sum of amount so this will be the third column now let me put this into another data frame that is df1 and let me use the display of this df1 so we'll see the output of this so here the command is running and now we can see it is having the product then we can see canada china mexico and us so these four countries are here and we can also see the sum of these values that we can see now next let's assume we don't want to keep all these four countries we just want to keep only Canada China and US so how we can do that so first we have to create the country as a variable and inside this we have to specify an array and in array we have to use those countries those we want to convert so in our case I am going to use Canada, China and US. So once we have done this, next we have to use the DF that is our main data frame dot group by will remain same. Inside this we have to specify the product column so we can go with the product. Next here we have to specify pivot. So inside the pivot transformation, the first column we have to specify actual column. So this is the actual column and second we have to specify the list of countries which we want to convert. So in our case, I have created this variable that is country. So we can specify here and next we can go with the sum of amount. So amount is another column and let me put this in another data frame that is df2 and let me use display of this df2 and execute it so it should be going to return total four columns and this time we can see Canada China and US only so either we can specify in a variable and then we can use this here or you can also specify this list of array values directly here so whatever the way that you want to choose you can use that now here let me try to see our data frame that is df1 that we have created where we have all four values so that we can see like Canada, China, Mexico and US so now the requirement is we just wanna 
unpivot of this so how we can do the unpivot so for doing the unpivot we have to use the df1 data frame dot here we have to use the unpivot transformation and inside that first we have to specify the column which we don't want to touch so that is the product column now next we have to specify list of countries which we want to convert so in our case we want to convert Canada next will be China and next will be Mexico and last will be US so these four countries we want to convert and what will be the column name that we have to specify here so the column name will be country and then the actual value column so that will be amount so we can use the amount here let me put this into another data frame and let me use the display of this data frame 3 and execute it so because we have not used this into single quote and similarly for the amount as well so these two should be in single quote or double quote so now we can see here like this is converted like the product will be the first column then the country so inside the country it is converted and it is now having Canada China Mexico and US similarly we can also see the amount so under the amount we can see nulls and if we have noticed at the starting we don't have any null so if we don't want to see any null then we can simply filter out or we can delete the value which are having null in amount so that we can do